everybody. Welcome back to Running Denver TV. We are here at the Runners Roost Lakewood location with Sonia and Joel, and they're going to give us some really great tips on and some things that we can use to stay safe while we're running at night. As we all know, daylight savings is right around the corner. It's going to be a lot darker, and we want to make sure you can still get out there and get your run in and be safe at the same time. So, Joel, what kinds of things do you have that you might recommend to runners? Um, we can start first with uh, just integrated um, reflectivity into apparel. So there's a lot of companies that are working um, these reflective hits into the pieces that you're actually wearing so you don't have to worry as much about the accessories. Um, good example is what Sony's wearing here with this 360 degree reflective vest from Nike. It's little glass uh, reflective beads that are painted onto the, the piece itself. So it's light, it's functional, and you can see it um, yeah, when you're out there at night. Some other cool pieces, we've got reflectivity built into hats. So if you're a hat person, you've got reflective hits um, yeah, on the front of the hat. You've got footwear that's getting reflective now. So the, uh, the mesh that's built into this Nike shoe is also, it's a 3M reflective material. Um, when lights hit it, it'll really pop so that, you know, if they can see you up high, they can see you down low. Um, some other really simple ways to, to work in some reflectivity. You've got bracelets. Oh no, <laughs> like that. Um, gloves as the temperatures are going down, you know, into, into the cooler months here. Um, a lot of people are gonna be wearing gloves, so again, these big, big reflective hits on the gloves. Um, so yeah, like I said, you wanna make sure that you've got reflective pieces on you. And then if you're also getting out and you're in situations where you need to see, you want to be seen, but you also need to see as well. Um, so lights are a, kind of a necessity going, going into the darker months. So one of the big necessities is a headlamp. Um, so again, it'll, it'll shine light on, on where you're headed, but it also allows people to, to give you, um, or allows people to to see you as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so you want to, you know, some other keys, you want to be able to be seen not only from the front, but also from the back. Um, so you always want to make sure you get, yeah, something blinging on the back of you. Um, and always remember when you're, if you're running on roads, you should be running into traffic. And so running down the left-hand side of the road, and these reflective pieces, you want to make sure you place accordingly. You want them closest to the car. So, you know, on Sonia's right wrist here, um, you know, some of these other, ref yeah, reflective pieces, make sure you get them on, on the right side. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of, I see a couple of different lights here. So this, and they all attach easily to apparel. Is it mm -hmm. just a matter of preference? Would you recommend one over the other? Yeah, just kind of whatever, um, yeah, personal preference. Some of them are going to be magnetic, mm -hmm. um, you know, the magnetic ones. Uh, I think you were saying earlier, you like to put it underneath a hat uh, or, you know, attach to a piece of apparel. Sometimes they clamp. Um, just kind of think about the pieces that you're going to be wearing and, and how they might easily attach to the pieces that, that you're going to be wearing more, more often. Okay, so I see lots of things here. We got all kinds of fun things that you can use and I can almost kind of see how it'd be really easy to go. I guess it's not really possible to go overboard, <laughs> but there's a lot of options out here. So what would you say, like, how many pieces of like either reflective gear or lighting, you know, would you recommend that a runner wears in the dark? I think having maybe one piece of apparel is, is key. Um, and then, you know, a, a headlamp and then maybe one or two, you know, something that, that blinks, I think is key. You know, even if it's reflective, I think adding that, that strobing component um, just makes it, you know, just adds another signal for, uh, for a person in a car to, to be able to recognize you. Um, so yeah, I'd say probably, yeah, three pieces. Um, Great. That sounds good. And you can be safe all the way down to $10. I mean, these make great stocking stuffers. Mm -hmm. You can put this in, you know, a little fun pack if somebody's just starting to run or whatever. I mean, these guys are $9. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the vest is a limited edition, so it's going to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you can really get in the game for like 10 bucks just to be safe. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing, like Joel said, is you can clip it anywhere so you can move it during your run. Mm -hmm. How about um, batteries for these things? Do you know what the battery life of anything is, or are there ways to replace the batteries in some of the things? Yeah, a lot of the um, the simple like LED um, sort of, of lights are just watch batteries. So you know, five bucks at, at Walmart. So pretty easily uh, replaceable. Some of the higher powered or higher output pieces like headlamps or um, you know this this handheld light from Nathan. A lot of these guys use lithium ion rechargeable batteries. So. You know, I think this lasts for, you know, 15, 20 hours on a single charge, and then you just plug it into a, an outlet like you would your phone or, um, yeah. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, I hope that this helped you out a little bit with your runs and planning them for the winter months. And uh, so thank you so much, Sonia and Joel, for being here. Yeah. And for thank letting you us guys. come and, and bug you at the store. This is awesome. <laughs> and for those great tips.